Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you're all doing well. These are my bespoke tassel overs from Ichigo Ichie. This is made out of Baker replica reindeer, replica Russian reindeer from the uh, Baker tannery out of the UK. Besides the fit just being like spot on, the tassel loafer and the leather, just the overall aesthetic makes this super easy to wear. And because of that, if I don't already have a particular shoe in mind to wear, this is the first thing that I grab. And I think you can really see it, and that's why it deserves some shoe care here. So let's get the shoe trees inserted. This is easily one of the few things I do not like about tassel loafers, and that is brushing right across the vamp. I usually just pull the tassel loafers back like this. And just to kind of give you a close up view of this current condition. Now that we've got them brushed off, just to kind of make sure I've gotten everything out of the different grain and textures that you see here. I'm gonna just take a clean cotton cloth, a few dabs of water, and just go over the shoe to fully wipe it off. And just in case it seemed like that was not a necessary step, you can see it definitely got some grime and some dirt off of the surface there. All right, now I'm going to uh, use the walnut cream polish and we'll apply that to the right shoe. Then we'll let that dry and switch over to the left. One thing I've noticed with this Baker leather and I've chatted with a few folks and they have had similar, if not identical experiences with it is that it's a very dry leather. You could apply like a, a very strong conditioner to it or a few different layers of cream polish and it will dry extremely fast. The only thing that, that really would make sense to me as to like why that would be the case is because it's a, a fully 100% vegetable tanned leather. I don't know if that's why it absorbs the conditioner and everything so quickly. There are a lot of questions, a lot of curiosity around it because of the popularity of hatch grain. That's what kind of prompts a lot of the questions or a lot of the inquiries about comparisons between the baker and the Horween hatch grain. Another note, let me know how things are looking and sounding. So just reorganize that, move some things around. So kind of shooting in a different direction, different part of the room. So really curious if there are any noticeable differences for better or for worse. I did a, a pretty detailed unboxing, a pretty detailed review of the ordering process and my initial thoughts of this shoe. You know, there's a few reasons why I would want to do an updated review or just a, an additional review. First, the leather. Like I said, there are a lot of questions about Baker compared to Horween. The other is is Lee. Um, you know, Lee Trung is a very new, uh, younger side of the spectrum on the shoemaking curve. And uh, I think when you have you're a first pair of remote bespoke from a shoemaker like that. And the experience, both of the ordering process and the wearing process continues to get better. I think it warrants letting people know about that. Now we'll apply the, the dark brown paste On that note, as I am wrapping up here, if you have any video ideas, any topics, any questions you'd like to chat about, you'd like to see in a live stream, which I definitely need to start getting back in the habit of, um, it's something I really enjoy doing. Uh, hopefully more folks can join it, but if you have any questions, have any topics, have any things you'd like to see, put those in the comments. We'll definitely start to build up that backlog of ideas for videos. Let's take a quick look at these. This was by no means a, an all exhaustive cleaning or conditioning. It was really just your basic 
hey, I've worn these shoes a number of times. They could use a little bit of attention. So let's get that knocked out out of the way. Let me know what you guys think. Also, very curious. I think it was definitely more prevalent uh, a couple of months ago, even a year ago, Shoe Shine Sunday. You guys still shining, caring for shoes? Uh, do you have a Sunday routine? If so, let me know what it is and let me know what shoes you guys care for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. As I'm just going through the 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 uh, I uh, I came it came like to mind.